back eight years. We've been trying to get out this house for eight years. But instead of helping us properly, all they've done is evict us instead. Do you think with a bigger house your behaviour may have improved? Yeah, sure. Not my behaviour, I'm on about the children's behaviour, which is basically like the state of the house, the condition in the house, the cramped style of the house, where the kids got to sleep and all that. Obviously there's no separate rooms in there, so the, house, the kids don't want to be in the house. They've got to get out, and if they're out, they're being done for antisocial behaviour. they got a problem with me, all they had to do is knock on the door and ask, and I would have dealt with it. Like, you know, I ain't been violent or nasty towards anybody. They say neighbours from hell. It's all alleged and all the rest of it, so what else can I do? I've, I've abided by the court order, what they said for me to do and what I can't do. I've abided by that. So. After they were evicted, members of the family came to this council office, where they declared themselves homeless. And it will now be up to councillors to decide whether or not to rehouse them on a full-time basis. Obviously, uh, everything that has gone before would be looked at, and if it is found that they have intentionally made themselves homeless, that would be taken into account when deciding if or if they're granted accommodation or not. In the meantime, they have a legal right uh, through government legislation to have uh, temporary bed and breakfast accommodation. They've applied for that and they've been granted for that. I understand, actually, not within the boundaries of Bristol. With their former home boarded up, the family are now looking for new neighbours.